thinking of you. You haven't heard, have you? What, is something wrong? Jake McKinnon was shot tonight. I was afraid this would happen. There's no next of kin? Not locally, no. Next. You haven't lost him, have you, Doc? He's comatose, Detective. Oh, man, are you serious? Dr. Frame, there's a woman in the waiting area to see you. She says it's important. Thank you, Gwen. Look, have him ready to roll for a CT scan as soon as you can. Okay, Jamie. Thank you. Great. Nobody can question you now, buddy. Frankie. Hi, thanks Hi. for seeing me. You're the one who wanted me? Yeah, <laughs> sounds like you were expecting someone else. Uh, I just thought it was Marley. I don't think you're going to be seeing her tonight. Frankie, you know where she is? Yeah. She's at the police station. They're questioning her in connection with Jake's shooting. What's the matter, seeing double? Who? One of us was at the opera tonight. One of us was at Jake McKinnon's loft. Twins. You're real swift, aren't you? Damn it, Vicky. You're Chris, right? So, Chris, you under oath yet? I had no idea. Because if you are, you better be real sure of who you're accusing of being trigger happy. What kind of questioning? She's his ex-wife and they were about to be remarried. They're bound to ask her something. Yeah, hey, but tonight, what is the rush, Frankie? There's more. Um, Frankie, what? A neighbor saw Marley leaving the loft earlier. She was breaking up with Jake. What? She broke up Look, with Jake Frankie, tonight? Frankie, that is confidential. You cannot tell anyone that. Cass is representing her. Jamie, you have got to talk to me. Okay. Okay, so do you know how it went? No, oh, but I'm sure Jake was not too happy. So Marley told you that there had been trouble? No, she did not tell me anything. She called her once when she heard about Jake. I don't even know if she saw the guy. Okay, okay. Uh, Cass can find that out. Is he with her now? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm sure Ryan Harrison is just asking your background information. Oh, I it's, hope, it's routine. I hope that's all it is. So, uh, how is Jake? He's comatose. Oh, no. The bullet perforated his liver. It lodged near his spine. Frankie's lost a tremendous amount of blood. Yeah, he shouldn't be alone in there. He needs stimuli. He needs people talking to him. You know, when this happened to Evan, I made sure that Frankie, someone was with him all the time. Frankie, who is going to hold Jake's hand? He doesn't have any family here. He's lost every single friend that he's had. Did he ever regain consciousness? Jamie, I'm helping Cass. He's Marley's lawyer. Now, we have got to know everything we can about the shooting if we're going to help her. Is she going to be charged? I don't know. Look, how could anyone think that Jamie! Mar Did Jake say anything at all? Just one word. Marley. I don't know who I saw, officer. I thought I knew. I thought I knew for sure. I'm, uh, Mr. White, I'm gonna need to see you again. But I can't tell the difference between these two. We'll be in touch. You had no right to do that, Vicky. I had as much right as you did trying to steamroll my sister. You don't know what you're talking about. Don't I? Weren't you going to try to make her confess for something that she didn't do? I just want to talk with her. I think my client has had enough for one night. Maybe you should explain to your client that it would be in her best interest to cooperate. Why? Because some nosy neighbor decided that he saw Marley at Jake's loft? Vicky, you're not helping. I'm not? What would he have done if I didn't come in here? Book my sister for trying to kill Jake because some lousy excuse for a witness thought that he saw her coming out of his loft? If she is so innocent, then why don't you let her talk? We're gonna try to pin this on her, and I'm not gonna let you, Ryan. Excuse us for a minute. Hey, take it easy, Harrison. May I see you outside? Don't. 
George, I need to see you. George? Vicky. Vicky? George, I need you to keep an eye on her for I me. don't need a chaperone. I'm not finished with you yet. You got a COVID, Ryan. You cannot do this. Ryan! Watch me. Good. Maybe we can get on with this. I need to spend some time alone with my client. Uh, and no one is pressing any charges here. Marley, Marley! Oh, no. Marley, are you all right? Are you questioning my daughters? Are you out of your mind? Doesn't anyone in this family knock? Just what the hell are you doing with my daughter? Darling, darling. I'm fine, you? I'm fine. Officer Ryan, this has been a very emotional evening for everybody in this family. I see no reason why you can't put off the questioning until morning. What questioning? I haven't been able to get a word in edgewise. Wanna, look, look just leave my daughter alone, all right? You want to tell me what's You're going terrified. on here? terrified. Would you stop it? Officer Harrison, I will answer your questions if I can, but I just need five minutes alone. May I use the ladies' room? Yes, I'll go with you. No. I just want five minutes alone, please. Harrison? One flight up. Just what are you trying to do? Just get at the truth, man, that's all. George? Honey? Um, I don't know how to put this delicately, but... If I don't use the little girl's room... No, Ryan told me not to let you out of my sight. Ryan said he didn't want me in the office. He didn't say I couldn't go to the bathroom. George. Talking point of no return. All right, one flight up. Bless you. I'll be back. I promise. do Vicky we're gonna be fine now if Ryan knows that you're talking to me then he's gonna come Ryan here. has no right to not let you talk to me you haven't been charged with anything but he's going to think that we're hiding something we are do you remember what I said to you before I can't lie to the police Marley you don't have a choice you want me to make up a story I can't do that what I want is for you to say nothing to anybody but me can you do that why we'll get to that I need to know something. We don't have much time. What? Marley. Did you shoot Jake? No. Did you? Look, he is a friend of mine, all right? All right, fine, I understand. Yeah. I wouldn't tell you anything? They're not giving out any information about Jake's condition at all. Uh, I don't, I guess that's standard. I, I mean, I knew the guy was in trouble, but I had no idea. I know, I haven't talked to him in weeks. You two were friends too? Yeah, we, we used to be. And then Marley came back to town and I didn't see much of him anymore. Marley, oh, I wonder how she's taking all of this. I was just playing poker with a guy recently. He was betting like he had just won the lottery. Jake? Yeah, the guy never had two dimes to rub together, and he's raising the stakes on every hand. He was winning, too, but he ended up losing his shirt. What, to you? No, to Vicky. Vicky, they were practically spitting at each other through the whole hand. You played poker with Vicky? Yeah, she just showed up. Uninvited, of course. Oh, well, surprise, surprise. We through the entire night. They were looking at each other like they were going to kill each other. You don't think Vicky could... No, no. It had to have been a robbery. That, that place is loaded with expensive stuff. Well, we're gonna find out soon enough. I guess. You know, I... I know a lot of people didn't like him, but... He 
Tom's always really sweet to me. I like him too. You know, maybe we can go see him tomorrow morning, huh? You can lose everything in a second, can't you? Yeah, you can. Now, my Aunt Liz is always saying, Olivia, life is short. You have to fill your days so that you can leave this life without any regrets. <laughs> I forget that a lot. Yeah, I guess we all do. We've both lost a lot of time this year, haven't we? Yes, we have. But I don't think we're the types to let it go on much longer. You? Absolutely not. No. I didn't shoot Jake, but you went after him. And I told you not to, Vicky. He tried to rape you, Marley. I wasn't going to let him off the hook without... Without hurting him back? What did you say to him when you got there? He wasn't in the listening mood. He had already been shot. Oh my God. He was fine when you left him? Yes. But you, you told me that you weren't going to let him get away with it, and... He didn't and then get away with it. Did he? Chris White said that he saw me right before he saw Jake, but the person he Must saw... and me. Vicky, everyone knows how much you and Jake hated each other, especially the last few weeks. Marley, how did you stop Jake from raping you? What? What do Just you mean? Just answer my question. I... I fought him, and... And he didn't... Listen to me at, at first, and I, and I... Just got away. He was badly hurt, wasn't he? That's what they say. I have to go to him. Why? Vicky, he is all alone. He might be dying. Would that be such a loss? Vicky, he was my husband once. He was once my best friend. He hasn't been either for a long time, has he? No. You think I did it, don't you? I think the police might think that. I told Ryan I went to Jake's. You didn't tell him exactly when. And that is the last thing you are going to tell Ryan. Do you understand me? We have to get our stories straight. We have to throw them off. How? I've got a plan. Let me get this straight. You mean... Marley admits to being at Jake's loft tonight, and you think that gives you a case against her? I don't understand this. I mean, a lot of people go in and out of that loft all the time. And I thought that you cared about Victoria. This has nothing to do with my personal feelings for either one of your daughters, Mrs. Hudson. Now, Marley was seen at Jake McKinnon's tonight. Jake was shot. When I stopped by Vicky's house to see if Marley was there, Vicky lied to me. What do you mean, lied? Vicky told me that Marley had been asleep. Had been for hours. And then she walked right in the door. Well, well I don't see what she... that has to do with your questioning. A lot of people hated Jake McKinnon. Is she in here? Oh, no. Don't tell she, me. That... She said she had to use the ladies' room, but then... She... And you let her? I can't believe this. You're not serious, Vicky. I've never been more serious in my life. I want you to tell everyone, including Cass, including Mom and Dad, and the milkman, that you went over to Jake's to break things off. You talked, you gave him the ring back, and you left. No. Everything was hunky-dory. Vicky, they are going to know that I am lying. Why? Because look what happened when you told Ryan that I was sleeping in the other room. Then I walked Marley, into... Marley, listen to me. Do not, under any circumstances, tell anybody that Jake tried to rape you. Are you hearing me? Good. Do you think you can do this? I don't... I don't know. All right, I'm going to say this again. Nothing physical happened with Jake, which means that I didn't tell you anything. How could you? Nothing happened. So, you never went over to Jake's loft. 
Vicky, I don't think I can I do this. I will tell you something, Marley. You are first on my suspect You don't list. know that. You don't. Yes, I do. I know him. Marley, if you want to walk away from this without getting arrested, you are going to have to do what no. I say. No, if I tell the truth, they will believe me. Marley, are you kidding me? They're cops. No, Vicky, we are talking about Ryan. And Ryan cares about you. And if we tell him the truth, then he'll, he'll, he'll believe me. And he'll believe you. Nothing is fair, Marley. Nothing. But I know that if I tell you had motive, you had opportunity. These cops want an arrest. They're gonna find out that you were there. I know they're gonna find that out, and then Marley, they're gonna think that it was you. All we have is each other. Nobody else gives a damn. Ryan, Ryan cares Marley, about you. Cares about getting this arrest. Please, Marley, let me worry about Ryan. Can't Michael and Donna do something? No. But I can. Marley. I want you to look at me. I want you to look at me and tell me that you understand. I love you. And I am not going to let anything happen to you. But I need your help. I don't know. I don't know. Vicky, what are you doing? I am taking care of my sister. Do you have a problem with that? Molly. I can't believe that Ryan thinks that Marley shot Jake. Well, he hasn't said anything like that yet, but, yeah, he believes it. All right, Cass. I'm going to give you and your client about two minutes, but then I want to get this over with as soon as possible. That's fine. Michael, I need uh, some time alone with Marley. Honey, don't worry. How you feeling? A little shaky. I can press Ryan for a postponement on the no. questioning if you need me to. I'll be all right. You sure? Mm-hmm. Okay. I need you to tell me everything. Tell me what happened tonight. What happened at the loft tonight? Jake was shot. Evan, you heard? Don't give me your lip, Victoria. You and Marley are in big trouble, and I'm here to help you. You can't. Victoria! I'm handling it, okay? What are you handling? My sister. You're telling me that you're I am not telling you anything. But what are you trying to Nobody. tell me? Listen, Mother, Marley is in trouble. It is my responsibility to look out for her. And she would do this for me. She would do what for you? I don't need the third degree from you. I have got everything under control, okay? Just trust me. The police are questioning both of my daughters, and I'm supposed to sit back and watch the story unfold? You want to get involved? You want them to start questioning you about Jake? You know I don't. Okay. You want to be useful. You tell everyone. Cass, Ryan, Dad, everybody who asks you that you know Absolutely nothing about Jake and Marley. I am her mother. That's ridiculous. Just keep your mouth shut for once. You listen to me, Victoria Hudson. I'm not going to sit back and watch you ruin your sister's life. 
What did you say? You two are in here plotting something together. Why don't you just say what you think? You think that I was in here plotting something and forcing it on poor, unsuspecting Marley. No, I think you're playing a very dangerous game and you're both in way over your head. I know heads. what I am doing. You do. And what are you doing for Marley? It's always me, isn't it? I am always the bad guy for you, right? Victoria, you, you're not the one that the police suspect. For I once know. in your life, you're not the center of attention. Which is exactly why I am trying to help Marley get out of this. She cannot do this on her own. Do what? She can get cannot out of what? get out of this on her own. Get out of oh, what? You're just going to have to trust me. Like it or not. I can't believe this is happening. Did you see Jake tonight? What? You heard me. Did you see him? No. And why would you ask me a question like that now? You tried to hire Frankie. Is that what she said to you? You think... Jake was about to blow the whistle. No, I don't. Oh, yes, no, I don't. Did. What was it then? I didn't want him to marry Marley. None of us did. Did we? No. We didn't. Do you know who shot Jake? Sure you want to go through with this? Start from the beginning, please. I went to see Jake tonight at his loft. I told him I couldn't marry him again. I gave him his ring back and I left. That's it. Marley. Yes. Is that how you plan on telling your story to Ryan? Well, guess I don't have to tell the police about my personal life. I'm afraid you do. Why? Nothing that, that Jake and I said to each other has anything to do with what happened at his loft after I left. Was Jake angry? No. Oh, he just said, okay, Marley, thanks for the ring. He was upset, Cass. He wasn't angry. Define upset. Why do I feel like I'm being cross-examined by you? If you think this is tough, wait until Ryan gets in here. Jake and I have had problems reconciling. He was ups upset and disappointed, but in the end, he wasn't surprised. What did you do after you left him? I went for a drive. Where? Around the lake. Did anyone see you? I don't know. Did you stop anywhere, talk to anybody? No. Go on. I went uh, driving for a while. How long? Uh, I don't know exactly. And after I cleared my head, I went to Vicky's. I was already there. And this was the first time you spoke to anybody after having seen Jake? Yes. Why did you go to Vicky's? Because I, I was upset and and hurt. I needed to talk to someone, and Vicky is the only one I can talk to. I'm glad the two of you have each other. What time is it? It's 1.45. I want to get out of here. 
I want to I wanna see Jake. Listen, I'm going to put Ryan off until tomorrow. And I need to talk to you again anyway before I let him question you. Okay, I just want to get out of here. Fine, let's go. Marley wants to go to the hospital to see Jake. I can have her back here first thing in the morning, and you can ask her all the questions you want then. Darling, I think we should just take you home I just right have now. to see him. Ryan? So, I'll see you in the morning. I'll call you. And thank you. Look, uh, if you would tell Vicky where we've gone, I'd appreciate it. Everybody. I let your parents take Marlon to the hospital to see Jake. I'm gonna go over there. No. I told Molly that her statement could wait until the morning. Good for you. Take your hand off my arm. No, What do you want? Marley can wait until daylight, but you can't. You want to talk? Let's talk. Sorry to keep you waiting. No, you're not. Why don't you have a seat? Why don't you get to the point? What happened tonight? Where's my lawyer? I'm not asking you this as a cop, Vicky. Oh, no? I'm your friend, remember? So what did you say to her? I told her I liked her lipstick. What did you want me to say to her? Her ex-husband got shot tonight, Ryan. She's a mess. Vicky, if you and Marley are withholding information... Is this the friend or the cop? Don't cop? you realize that one lie is going to lead to three lies? Before you know it, you're going to implicate yourself in an attempted murder investigation. Are you thick? Stop it. Now, I know what it's like, you know. What? If my brother were in trouble, I'd do anything for him. I am not doing anything for Marley. I am trying to keep her from losing it. She is not as tough as I am, Ryan. She She's needs help. She's a lot tougher than you think. How would you know? Vicky, if you're lying to protect Marley, if you told Marley to lie and she agreed, it's all going to blow up in your faces. Maybe not today. Maybe not next week, but it's going to come back. I've seen it happen a thousand times before. I just don't want either one of you two to get hurt. Nice speech. Use it often? Vicky, you know that's not what I meant. Vicky, I know you trust me. I don't trust anyone, haven't you heard? You know, it was just getting good between us. We'd finally stopped fighting, stopped pretending that we didn't care for each other, and now you're going to blow it all. You have to trust me. Trust me that I want to help you and your sister. Why should I? Please. Tell me the truth. For Marley's sake. There's no change. No. X-ray will see him for a scan in 45 minutes. Thanks. I'm going to put a call into neurology and see if Peterson can take a look at him in the meantime. Marley. Jake McKinnon's room we just came from. How is he? I'm afraid he's in a coma. I'm sorry. I'm... I'm so sorry.
Jake's in a coma. Yep. But he did manage to say one word. What? Marley. Anyone hear him? Jamie, a nurse, and a cop. A cop? Yeah. I know. Great timing, right? But that doesn't prove anything. I mean, she broke up with him tonight. Of course she'd be on his mind. So what, what do you think? Did you get a chance to talk to her? She was very clipped. No embellishment at all. So you don't believe her? I think she's leaving something out. Something very big. And I'm starting to think that Vicky has a lot to do with it. How? Well, they're hiding something. And Ryan's not going to give up until he gets one of them to talk. Do you think one of them did? I don't know. I would find it hard to believe that they'd hide anything if... Marley was really torn up. Yeah, well, that fits the situation. She told me she broke up with Jake. So she went through with it. You knew? Yeah, D Jamie told me. It seems Marley told him she was planning to do it. Oh, boy. Yeah, I know. Vicky lied to Ryan when he came looking for Marley. What? Yeah, she was trying to get him out of the house, saying that Marley was asleep. And two minutes later, guess who walked in the front door? Shaking oh, like a leaf. Cass, what are they doing? I don't know. But I gotta get Marley to talk to me. Because right now, Ryan is sure she shot Jake. And he's gonna do everything he possibly can to prove it. What do you mean you're sorry, Marley? I'm sorry this happened. Are you taking care of him? I was on call when he came in. Was he ever awake? Just for a second. I want to see him. Honey, I don't think it's a good Let idea. Let me see right him, now. Just please. Just relax for a little while. Darling, right, you, I gotta go in and see him. You can't see him when you're in this condition. Your father's right. Isn't that right, Jamie? Look, Marley, it's your choice. If you want to see him for a few minutes, that's okay. But I've got to warn you. He's lost a lot of blood. He's in very critical condition. You have to be prepared. Darling, please don't go in there. I've got to see him! All right, come here. Come here and calm down. I'll be here. Just calm down. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Jamie. Is that guy a cop? Yes. I do not like this. I do not like this at all. Michael, were you at the police station with Marley? Yeah, I was there. Was Ryan questioning her about the shooting? Well, he was trying, but he didn't get very far. He doesn't really believe Marley's responsible, does he? I'll tell you the truth, I really don't know. He knows that she was at the apartment. He knows that she went there to tell him that she was going to break it off, and that's about as far as they seem to be taking the matter. So many people had it in for Jake, and they chose Marley. Well, I guess that's because uh, she was there, and she may have been the last person to see him before he was shot. You know, Michael, the other night, Iris, Iris, um, she was dying to just tell Marley something about Jake. Iris? Yeah, she was all keyed up about it. And then we found out that Amanda had been in a car accident and well, they never finished the conversation. Well, wait a minute, what, what, what could Iris have to tell Marley about Jake? I'm not sure. But she seemed like she really had it in for him. I don't think she's the only one. What does that mean? I'm ready. I'll go with you, Marley. Mm -mm. I'm gonna do this alone. You were saying? knows how to lie. A few hours ago, I would have agreed with that assessment. I mean, even if for some unknown reason, Vicky asked her not to talk about something, I just don't think it's in her makeup, you know? Yeah. Vicky was very determined to keep her eye out for her sister tonight. It kind of surprised me. Yeah, well, if, if Vicky is trying to cover for Marley, they could both get hurt. It's not a question of if. Really? Yeah, Vicky just got to Marley alone tonight before I could. Whatever happened at that video loft, I'm afraid we're not going to find out about it from them. You haven't answered my question. Which one? 
please. Believe in me. Believe the fact that I don't want to hurt you or your family. I'm just trying to do my job and keep you at the same time. Can't you see that? She's my sister. What does that mean? Don't ask me to choose between you and Marley. Because I promised you my blood and hers is thicker than anything you can lay on my conscience tonight. You told it a lie, didn't you? I told her I loved her. Don't complicate the issue now. Just when things are getting started. If you talk to me now, truthfully, we can help her. Gotta get out of here. Let me go with you? No. Vicky. Listen to me, Ryan. I care about you. I've even thought about the two of us being together, but don't you ever use that as a bargaining chip with my family. I will do everything or anything for my sister. She's a part of me, do you understand? And you, after all is said and done, you're just a cop. sisters, vindictive friends, cheating spouses, and lying landlords. Can you imagine living next to these people? Hang out with the malicious men and bitter babes of Melrose Place today at 3 on Soapnet.